Hi, welcome to the Crazy Talk Animator tutorial on real-time, full-body puppeteering. Here you'll learn how to use the puppeteering panel. First, you need to know that there are two different types of characters, side profile and front profile. Both versions of the same character are shown here on the screen. If I apply a front motion to my front profile character, the result will look good because that preset motion is intended to be applied to front profile characters. However, if I give him a side profile motion, he looks a bit awkward. Likewise, if we give the side profile character a motion intended for front profile characters, he looks a bit strange. Let's apply the correct motions to each character to see the result. Now they're both walking properly. There are two types of motions available in the puppeteering panel, body part and base motion. Body part motions animate individual body parts like you see here. I can select the limbs and manipulate them by moving my mouse. If I select the torso, the appropriate body parts will adjust according to my mouse movement. Next, I'll move on to the base motions, which are predefined full body animations. As you can see, when I rotate the mouse around, the entire body will move. I can go back and forth according to my mouse movements. If you want to test out your motion without having to move your mouse, then you have the available option of slider control. Just select the slider control tab and you'll see two sliders called exaggeration and speed. In this mode, if you play your motion, it will repeat, which leaves you free to make adjustments to the speed and exaggeration of your character's motion. Here's a good example of how mouse control can be beneficial when recording a live animation. If you wanted to do something in slow motion, for example, mouse control is better because it allows you to adjust the speed of your animation in real time. I can make this jump go slower at its peak by slowing down my mouse movement. Sometimes you'll come across a motion that's really great, except you'd like to isolate a certain part of the body while it records. If you select the Mask tab beside your motion library, you can click on any body part to isolate it from the animation. Here you can see I'm isolating one arm, and then one leg. In the slider control section, there are also further options available to customize your character's movement. Select the Preset tab, and your available options will appear. Each individual motion has varying amounts of customization available, but you can play with all of them until you have found the perfect motion for your character. You can make a lot of hilarious cartoon-like motions here. You can also layer body and facial puppet animations on top of each other. My character is currently doing a slow motion run, and I'd like to add some emotion to that. I can preview the emotion templates by simply pressing the spacebar. When I'm ready to record, all I need to do is go back to the beginning of the timeline and re-record using facial puppeteering. Then I have a more dramatic, slow motion run. This can be done with both sprite-based and morph-based characters. For more on the differences, you can visit the tutorial on character creation. Here you can see I've created a confident stroll using two simple puppeteering motions, a process that takes less than a minute. One more thing, if you somehow record the perfect puppeteering motion and would like to use it again on the same or different characters, you need to use the collect clip function in the timeline. Here I can see both my facial and body motions in the timeline. If I select the area of the timeline where those motions take place, I can right click and save them as a perform motion which combines both face and body motion. After I save the file, it will appear in the custom tab of my perform section and I can easily reapply it to any character. Puppeteering makes your animation easy and by combining, isolating and creating different puppeteering motions, you can save heaps of time with Crazy Talk Animator.